half of adults in the United States are fucking stupid. So, half of the U.S. adult population may have a lower IQ from harmful levels of lead exposure in childhood, study finds. This explains a lot. Now, again, <laughs> look at the world that we live in. Look at the world that we live in. Look at our leaders, right? Let's look at our leaders. Hold up. But the real problem is that our leaders are dumb. Yeah, right? Dumb. So dumb. So, look at our leaders. Okay, look at our elders. Look at, like, boomers, right? Like, look at, look at, like, you know, Gen X, right? Like, look at these fucking morons. Look at these loser nerds. They're all useless. They're all useless garbage and they're stupid. And why is that? Well, they were never given a chance. Can you really blame them? They were never never given a chance because they had lead poisoning as kids. And so that just made them stupid. They have a lower IQ from harmful levels of lead exposure. Um, I mean, again, this explains so much in how our society is constituted and the people that run our society. This explains almost every aspect of it. This is like, I, this is one of those bombshell reports. Like, think about this. Think, half of adults got literal lead poisoning and brain poisoning and their entire lives they've had to live as a dumb motherfucker as a result. That's crazy! That's crazy! I mean, again, that's like 50% is a huge number. Can we really have this come? That is a huge fucking number. Only the really, I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. Again, I really, <laughs> half, half of adults in the United States had lead poisoning as a kid. I can't, I can't, I, I, I really, before we even get into this article, I just can't wrap my mind around this. Half of it, like, there is a 50%, I mean, that explains the Republican Party. That explains the goddamn Republican Party, right? Like, what the fuck you think? Oh, yeah, why is it that there's, like, 20 to 30% of the country that's just out and about fascist morons, right? And they don't believe in, like, fucking climate change or fucking, like, biolog like biology. They don't believe in medicine. They don't believe in fucking, right? They're just fucking, half of them think the earth is flat. They believe JFK Jr. is going to get resurrected. Oh, well, they all have lead poisoning. <laughs> that, does, that, that explains a lot. That really explains a fucking lot. Okay, so exposure to leaded gasoline decades ago may have lowered the IQ of U.S. adults, new research says. More than 170 million Americans alive today may have been exposed to dangerous levels of lead as children, potentially causing brain development issues. I can't. 170 million dumb motherfuckers just walking around. They're just like, they're dri and they're driving cars, right? Like one mistake and like that's people dead. They're driving metal death machines at like 70 miles an hour, <coughs> right? They're teaching your kids, right? They're like fucking, they're operating the machines, the construction machines and the fucking nuclear machines. And they're like, they're just, they're, 170 million lead poisoned dumbos now again i don't i'm not trying to be <laughs> i know i'm being really fucked up i'm being really rude holy shit i'm being so mean to like half of the fucking i, I shouldn't be like that i'm sorry but like also like th this is not their fault this is not anyone's fault but the the capitalist class that's what we need to understand here is like think about it from this perspective right the capitalists want you to be poisoned they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Right? They want you to have brain fog. They want you to have a lower IQ. They want you to not be able to think as clearly. They want you to get lead poisoning. Why do you think they didn't fix this shit for such a long period of time? Everyone, when lead was added to gasoline, everyone knew it was a bad deal. We already knew that. The science was out. But yet, people just did that anyway to save money, and they're like, fuck it, whatever. Whatever. Like, what, like, think about what's in the food you eat, think about what's in the water you drink, 
Sometimes there's lead in the water, right? But think about this, right? They want you to be a dumb motherfucker. They don't care if 170 million American adults have a, like, permanent brain damage at, from children throughout their whole lives, and they didn't even know. They didn't even know, and there's really no way to know, because half of adults, like, it was like a 50% chance that you're going to be one of those people, so that's just normal, right? It's just normal, like, everyone has got brain damage, so there's, you know, like, it's, it's all relative, right? Like, so... They, like, I, I mean, again, like, your health means nothing to the government. Your health means nothing to the capitalist class. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Think about the other chemicals going on. Like, you know, like, the fucking, like, PFAS outbreaks going on in every river in the fucking country, right? And all this fucking stupid shit. They don't give a shit the microplastics. You know about microplastics, motherfucker? That shit's gonna fuck you up. In fact, it's already fucked us all up because we're fucked, okay? So they don't give a shit about us. But, like, look at the COVID thing. It was found out that COVID does significant deleterious brain damage. If you get COVID, you will have fucking brain damage for the rest of your life. And how, what's the population that got COVID? Around 40-something percent. Imagine you had lead poisoning as a kid and then you got COVID. You're double fucked. You got the dumb juice coming at your ear. I'm sorry, but like, and, that, and no, there's no resources for you. No one cares, right? No one gives a fuck. The capitalists already made their money off of you. You're an, you're an expendable resource to them. You're a fucking write-off. That's how our system of government works. No one cares a fuck about you. <laughs> at all and they won't you think oh the lead in the oh that was a long time ago right that we fix our mistakes right about 40 something percent of the population i think last time i checked has had covid right one of the symptoms of long covid and just having covid is deleterious brain damage you get fucking brain damage that's right now we're going like this isn't oh yeah the lead in the gasoline that was like 40 years ago that's way in the past this is right now we're experiencing a similar situation. But anyway, I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Let's get back in here. 50% of Americans who were adults as of 2015 had likely been exposed to levels of lead high enough to impair cognitive function. The estimated result researchers calculated may be a reduction of the adult population IQ by an average of 2.6 points per person as of 2015. That's a pretty, you know... The results were shocking, according to the researchers, and could have ongoing consequences for public health. Millions of us are walking around with a history of lead exposure. They're walking around just dumb. It appears to be an insult carried in the body in different ways that we're still trying to understand, but uh, that can have implications for life. Again, they don't care. They don't care about people having brain damage because that benefits them the less people are able to have higher cognitive function they don't want a smart intelligent population if they did they would not make school so impossible to afford they wouldn't make like school in general like just like fucking teaching you like a falsified version of history and like a, some basic math skills and how to read and write a little bit but not too good right the, the, like they don't want you to be a smart person they're just going to poison you at every fucking amount that they can and any way that they can. Even small amounts of lead can cause brain damage and developmental issues. High levels of lead can cause neurotoxicity, which can cause a wide range of neurological symptoms and exposure can build up over time. In some cases, lead poisoning can be fatal. Exposure over time can be especially risky for children, causing learning disabilities, mood regulation problems, hearing loss, or seizures, according to the Mayo Clinic. Why do you think cancer is so prominent in our society? It's because we're having all these chemicals that fucking cause our body to break down. <sighs> it's 
so sad. Leaded gasoline popular in the, in the late 1960s was a common source of lead exposure through the 1980s. Researchers found in the current paper through the, uh, though the EPA began efforts to phase it out in 1973. In the same period, levels of lead in the blood were three to five times the safe limit recommended by the CDC at that time. People currently in their late 40s to mid 50s may have experienced the worst cognitive damage that's crazy from lead exposure estimated at between 5.7 to 5.9 uh, lost IQ points. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. I really, I mean, I can't. And like no one, like we, and no one knew that until until like recently. Really, I mean, like, like people knew it was bad for you, but now we know. Yeah, six point IQ loss. That's nuts. Previous research found children today may still face high levels of lead exposure. While leaded gasoline was banned in 1996, lead exposure continues to be an issue and disproportionately affects people in poorer communities with aging infrastructure. Again, with water. A 2021 study found that risky levels of lead exposure were found in just over 50% of younger children than 5 years old tested between 2018 and 2020. That's fucked up! That's fucked up. And this is like just new ways to poison you every decade, every era, every generation. They're going to poison you in a different way. They being the corporate class, the motherfucking capitalist fat cat motherfuckers. And then no one gives a fuck. No one gives a shit. Yep. Yep. 50% of adults have have brain damage from lead for like something about covid like 40 percent have covid which causes brain damage right like half of new uh, children under the age of like seven right now you know because that, that study was 2020 so uh half of children under the age of seven have lead damage from like water <laughs> right so not from the gasoline this time but it's in the water now not so good not so good